What's going on guys? Spider here for Clash of Clans. Can you feel the hype? Can you feel the hype? Archer Queen level four. Oh yeah, she's almost at level five. The Royal Cloak ability will be mine. It will be mine. Check it out. I can't wait, man. So damage increase 300, health recovery 150, ability time 3.6 seconds, and five summoned archers to help out. Woo! Um, and I almost look at look at my elixir, dark elixir count. It's at thirty thousand seven hundred ninety-seven. I think the next upgrade is at thirty-two five. So I'm pretty close. And I think what we're gonna try and do is a live raid to try and get that dark elixir. But what I want to do today was uh, just go through my town hall nine, where I'm at, uh, what I'm planning on doing, what I've done, uh, and uh, I guess sort of where where we go from here, and, and where is that going to take us to our schedule as far as uh, getting to Town Hall 10. Here we go. Boom! There she is! Archer Queen level 5! How sweet is that? Uh, and the upgrade is uh, 32,500. Okay. So, cool. We're going to do a raid. Actually, we may as well get the builder now to remove some of the debris. Maybe get a few extra gems. We'll see. Okay, so as far as progress, uh, I'm currently working on two of my new defenses. And the plan was to get all of the new defenses upgraded to current levels, okay? So that means getting the new Archer Tower up to level 10. He's going to be at level 9 here in uh, just over a day. Then we get him, get him to level 10. Uh, and the same with the air defense. We're at level 3. Our current air defense level, which is a Town Hall 8 max, is level 6. So we got two more to go once this is done. And then the same with the Wizard Tower. We're at level 3. We're going to bring him up to level 6. And what I'm trying to do is uh, trying to only do two defense upgrades at, at once. So I do have some defenses available uh, and obviously upgrading the weaker ones. And then once everything's up to speed, then we can start upgrading the the ones that are already at max level, okay? Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is because I have... Why do I keep clicking on that? Uh, because I have five builders, uh, the, a third builder I'm going to have working on upgrading traps. Now, my giant bombs are already at max level for Town Hall level 9. Um, I've got the fourth one, which is right behind that elixir collector. And I don't want to click on that because I'm sitting at uh, 8 million elixir. And I don't want to click on the elixir collectors because I don't need that elixir right now. And I want to save it for when, I, when this guy's ready at the lab. Okay? So, um... Oops, he's not done yet. One second. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, so the traps, uh, the other traps that I have available to upgrade are the air bombs. So I have four air bombs. I have four seeking air mines that can be upgraded, as well as all the bombs. I, I don't even remember. I think there are like five of them, something like that. Anyway, so I can upgrade all those. Uh, and then have my other two builders available for elixir upgrades, like my other two army camps. Uh, as well as my gold storage, my el dark elixir storage, and is there anything else? Oh, I have one more dark barracks, uh, as well as for the hero upgrades, all right? So only two defenses at one time, at the same time, as well as uh, one, one trap, and that's what I'm going to try and stick with from here on in. Uh, what else? What else we got? I think the layout's fine. This guy, the Dark Elixir Drill, I've been really concentrating on. So once he's done, that'll be fully upgraded at Town Hall Level 9. And then I have this guy for another 5 million Elixir. The only reason I haven't upgraded him uh, was because I went for the Archer Queen. I went for the upgrade on the Archer Queen um, because I had enough Dark Elixir. And Dark Elixir is really... Uh, you know, I can get a lot of it from raids. I do want to get that upgraded, but it was more important to upgrade my Archer Queen, especially considering that we now have her at level 5. Okay, so, but that's the next thing. That's the next uh, Elixir upgrade once I have some other builders available. Um, but, uh, yeah, the plan is right now, because I have a builder available, is to try and get that additional Dark Elixir. Okay, my walls, as far as my walls, okay, so I have all the walls upgraded that I wanted to, to level nine so i've got these three walls and the wall breakers will typically if you, they brought it they're brought in from the bottom they will target those walls again for the splash damage you have to do three of them and the same thing at the top of the base okay i do have some spring traps that will fling them away if they do get close but um you know if the spring traps are already gone and uh, they bring wall breakers in then at least we have a little bit more protection the other walls that i've upgraded to level nine here are the intersecting walls that i talked about the uh, the last time in the last videos, so those intersecting walls, there's six of them there and another two here. 
So a total of eight walls. Now I'm just going to show you a replay and see why we do this. This is a, a replay of a golem attack. And it's only one golem, but I haven't been attacked by, by golems, like, I think once a long time ago. And this is the first time in a while. And uh, defenses are pretty good. I mean, you're still going to get... Uh, wall breakers. I'm pretty sure wall breakers broke through there. I didn't notice I had on four times, but you're still gonna get wall breakers come through I mean it does give you added protection, but it's not going to you know be the be-all end-all and, and completely protect you So you got wall breakers in um, On that second part of the base too, but you'll see why um, And maybe I'll consider upgrading those walls But you'll see why here when the golem and uh, the barbarian king come in here is level 23 damn Okay, so they're going for that wall. See how they're going for that wall right there? That's the wall they t they'll typically typically concentrate on. And see, they're going for sort of the same wall here on that side, okay? And it's it's usually the closest wall that they're concentrate on in those corner, those intersecting walls that they'll go after. So that's why we're upgrading them. Okay, so let's return home. So as far as the plan on further upgrades, like I'm not going to upgrade all my walls to level nine. What I'm going to do first. Is all these walls that I've upgraded to level 9, I'm going to then now upgrade to level 10. So if we look at uh, the upgrade, right, you're adding 1,500 additional hit points to those walls. I mean, level 8 walls are 3,000 hit points. And if I get these upgraded to level 10, we're at 5,500. We're almost double the hit points on those walls. And uh, those are the most important ones. And then once I get those ones up to level 10, then I'll, pro I'll probably look at upgrading these three to uh, level nine and then just starting to build level nine on my interior walls all my interior walls here and then around here with the um, uh, where this mortar is located I'll upgrade all those walls to level nine and then start flowing out to the exterior of the base and I think the plan is is to try and get all my walls up to level nine hopefully when I'm ready to go to Town Hall 10 and my schedule and if you guys saw the spreadsheet from a video I did a while ago for Town Hall 9 I'll link it to you again in the description it lists all the upgrades uh, and basically schedules them out I think I'm looking at about October sort of beginning of October to have all my upgrades done except except for my heroes my heroes can go to level 30 that's gonna take a long time and the laboratory my all my upgrades in my laboratory aren't going to aren't going to be complete so uh, but as far as like all my defenses and uh, all my other elixir upgrades, they'll all be done by uh, early October. All right, so that's the plan, and we'll see where we'll see what I want to do for the um, the upgrades on the laboratory when I when and do I do hit that point in time because I do want to try and get everything upgraded in the lab before I go to Town Hall 10. But we'll see. I'm definitely not going to wait until I get level 10 walls everywhere or. I get level 30 with uh, both my Barbarian King and Archer Queen. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to wait for those two items to go to Town Hall 10, but we'll see about the lab. All right, so we're going to search for a, um, a base here. We're going to try and get one. We need 1,705 Dark dark Elixir, so hopefully we get a base that is going to have a lot of Dark Elixir. I'm one spell shy of four Lightning Spells, but that's okay. We should be able to uh, to find one, and um, we'll skip ahead once we do. All right, guys, so I think we found the base. Um, we've got uh, Dark Elixir drills sort of in the three corners, so we're going to try and strategically take those out with our troops here. So we're going to try and take this one out first. We're just going to span spam in some Barbarians and some Archers. We're going to concentrate, try and concentrate on one at a time because the, um, the most Elixir we're going to get is going to come from... Those uh, those elixir drills, if we can get the... Come on, finish off that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So let's see. Let's get them to take out this one. They're going after the uh, cannon, unfortunately, but there we go. Okay, so there's one. Now let's focus on this one. We don't have to use our, uh, our uh, Barbarian King yet or our Archer Queen. We are going to use the Archer Queen because we definitely want to try and get her to... Uh, I want to I see that ability. I've been waiting a long time for that ability. So I want to see her use it, but we're going to strategically take out these Dark Elixir Drills. I don't care about trophies right now. I really don't. Uh, I'm just after the Dark Elixir. Send in a few more archers right there, and uh, we should have enough to uh, do some damage in here and to get fairly close, and uh, we can probably use the Archer Queen to finish it off. So we'll see what happens here. Come on, guys. Come on, guys and gals. Actually, we're going to have enough just to take it out without using the Archer Queen. Nice. 
Nice, get it. So we're obviously not going to get into the internal uh, internals of the base. I'm going to use three lightning spells. Okay, so we'll take that dark elixir. And then, uh, you know what? We'll try and take uh, some of these other buildings. I don't know if we're going to... We're obviously not going to get to um, to 50%, probably. But uh, looking for the gold. I don't know why, because I'm at max. I should have used some before this raid, to be honest. Uh, and then let's bring in the Archer Queen and just see what she can do. Actually, let's bring in the Barbarian King. You know what? <laughs> I'm so undecided. Let's bring in our Clan Castle troops. Then we'll try and bring in the Barb King to take out some of these uh, defenses up top. Um, and uh, and see if we can't get the 50%. So let's wait until those defenses are taken out. And then we'll bring in the Barbarian King here to help out. Uh, I'm not going to activate him. And then let's activate him now. And then bring in the Archer Queen here. And uh, let's try her activation here in a minute once the Barbarian King is taken out. Come on. We're going to get it, let her go down in health a little bit. Okay, so she's invisible, but only for 3.6 seconds. She's going to do some additional damage. Uh, but, yeah, we're, I don't think we're going to get the, the 50%. But that's okay. That's okay, because we got a lot of Dark Elixir. 3,275 Dark Elixir. And that's going to be more than enough for us to be able to upgrade our Archer Queen to level 6. Pretty sweet, huh? Pretty sweet. So I'm going to use some gold. I'm actually going to upgrade one of these walls. I do have this wall. You know what? I'm going to upgrade this one. Uh, use 3 million. That's a big hit, though, man. That is a big hit. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? Yeah. Let's do it. Look at that. Look at that sweet wall. Let's, uh... Oh, can't get a good look at it. Here, let's move it out here. So move this guy here. Because I want to see it down at the bottom. Uh, no, there we go. Ooh, fancy. It's got the little spiky things on it. So that's cool. So that's our first level 10 wall. Uh, our first of many. Or a few, anyway. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we spent the 3 million. And uh, we... Oh, we've got to clear this bush out. And then we'll initiate the upgrade on our Archer Queen to level 6. Um, and like I said, the, uh, the Elixir Collectors... I'm not going to collect from them because once I um, finish my research on my barbarian, my barbarians, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my archers. Okay, um, so then that's going to be seven and a half million. I'll have a half a million left, and then I'll then I'll collect from the collectors because there's no sense doing it now. All right, so let's initiate the upgrade on the archer queen. Sweet, man, we got a lot of dark elixir off of some of those attacks. That was a sweet base. That we just attacked, though, on our attack log. 3,275 Dark Elixir. Anyways, that's it. That's where we're at for Town Hall 9. Where are you guys at? Do you think um, we got a good strategy going here as far as upgrading and what we're doing? I, I think so. I think so. I mean, we've made a lot of progress since I first got to Town Hall 9. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys think I should do something differently. Uh, or if you guys want to know any specific things about what I'm doing here on Town Hall 9. Leave a video comment below, guys. We'll catch you next time for Clash of Clans. I'm Spider and I'm out.